What's up YouTube, back with another video, and today I'm gonna be going over my custom Warriors post split series here in 2K24. And so the other day I made a video talking about how you can use my GM and make a custom playbook and then use that to make a custom series. And it could be fun because you can take a series that's already in the game and improve it or you can make something that's not in the game. And so that's what I did. So I'm gonna run through all the plays in the series really quickly and then show how you can set this up in game. So with that being said, let's get into it. So these are all the plays from the series. These are the only plays I got in the playbook right now. This is just for demonstration, but you can obviously add in plays that you like using, but these are the, you know, the plays that I found that'll be good for this post, post split series. And I basically just like went through the, the, um, the play catalog and looked for anything that had the word split in it. And I also just remember some plays off the top of my head, like ISO 12 high and quick three punch motion that have like split action in it also if you find any other plays that can be useful you can you know you can add it this is more of a, like a baseline and so i'm gonna just run through all these plays and practice mode real quick so right here we got jsw quick split rip uh, I actually talked about this play in my Warriors playbook video, but uh, you swing the ball to Looney and then hit Draymond in the post. And then Curry, he's supposed to set the screen for Clay and um, dive to the rim. So sometimes this cut will be open. Also, sometimes um, Curry's defender, he will like drop down to prevent this pass, which makes um, this action right here a lot easier. And like he gets more open consistently if he drops back to defend the cut. But um, right here, I just um, he gets hit by the screen. And I said this in the video as well, like make sure you're on time with your passes because defenders, they get through screens pretty well this year. And so you kind of want to throw the pass a little earlier, like right here when he lines up with the screener, you see me in the passing animation. And so this right here is like your most ideal situation. Like you want the player to have the ball while your defender is still trying to get through the screen because if you wait if i waited until he was right here to pass the ball by the time the ball gets there my defender can contest so it's a little bit like football in a way like you're not throwing it at the person when he's open like you're kind of throwing it to a spot so by the time he gets to the spot the ball is there and he can just shoot and sometimes the defense will play good defense and you know get out here but like these on-time passes will make a lot of more of these plays a lot more consistent so um, right here, like I said, I get the ball. Chris Paul is still in the screen animation, so I get an open shot. So right here, we got quick 51 split. I call this for Curry. So he's on the block. He gets the screen from Looney, comes out to the wing. So you got a potential three here. But if you don't get it, you pass it back to Looney. And depending on how your defender plays, sometimes um, he will cut back door. So, like, he'll go around, like, this way. But right here, uh, he gets the screen from Clay, goes back up to the top. So, say sets, Clay sets a pretty nice screen, and we get an open three. You could also get creative with a lot of these split plays as well. So, uh, right here, Curry gets the ball. I pass it over to Looney. And you can send, you know, these guys on manual cuts, Clay, Curry, depending on the situation. So right here, Curry, he gets the screen. He comes out to the top. But uh, Clay, he pops. But then I get him on a manual cut. So he's able to get behind the defense to get an easy dunk. So you can get creative with the, with the manual cuts with a lot of these plays. So right here, we got quick two split fists. So it starts with Curry on the wing. He gets this pick from Draymond. So if the defense plays you like this, you got an easy three. But I just let the play run out. Oh, also, on this side, um, whoever's in this corner, Wiggins, he gets this screen from Looney if, you know, when he have, whenever he decides to actually set it. But you also get this down screen right here. He comes out to the wing. So you got a potential shot here, too. 
but I let the play run. We give it to Clay, and then Draymond in the post, and then he sets the screen for Curry. He comes out to the wing. Defense don't get a hand up, so hand down, man down. You can also get this action as well. So again, I take the screen from Draymond. I pass it off to Clay, but uh, I don't pass it to Draymond. I just hold the ball with Clay, and then the play goes into this handoff. And Dre comes and sets the screen. So you go, you get a handoff into the side pick and roll. And from here, it's just reading the defense. So right here, I'm able to get into my mid range. So right here, we got quick three punch motion. And so uh, you swing the ball to the opposite wing and then give it to Looney in the post. Draymond sets the screen for Curry. Curry sets the screen for Clay, and then he's going to dive to the rim. So this cut, this cut will be open quite a bit. So be on the lookout for this. But right here, I just let the play run. And then uh, Steph, he gets the screen from Draymond. He comes out to the wing, and he gets open for the three. Next, we got quick horn split. Uh, this play is pretty simple. We just pass it to Draymond on the elbow. And then uh, Curry gets the screen from Looney, comes out to the wing. So right here, he gets open for the three. So next, we got 0-1 LAL punch two split triangle, I think it's called. Yeah. And so I actually call this one for Clay. Uh, Curry starts at the top. He passes it off to Dre, and he passes it off to Clay on the post. Draymond sets the screen for Curry, and he gets out on a wing for a three. So this play is pretty simple, but it is broken though because you don't really get any time to pass Clay the ball. Like as soon as it tells you to pass the ball, it goes into this post stuff for Looney or whoever your center is. So like you'd have to pass the ball before the the indicator even pops up. So like if you're in the middle of a game, like it's like you really not gonna get that off unless you just know the timing to a T. You can also get this action as well. Uh if you just hold the ball at the top, whoever you call a play for gets these two screens. So you get a potential three or mid range depending on when you pass them the ball. Next, we got 86 Boston 5 punch split. And this play actually is designed to get you a mid range. So uh, I pass it off to Wiggins and then I pass it off to Draymond in the post. And then Wiggins, he sets you the screen. And so you can get some pretty easy mid ranges with this play. You can also get threes as well. If you um, use your, your left analog to kind of like push them in any direction. So you, can, you might be able to get some corner threes or some wing threes, you know, depending on where you want to go. So right here, we got ISO 12 split. I called this one for Clay. So uh, Curry starts on the wing. I gave it to Clay in the post. And uh, Curry, he'll get this green from Looney coming out to the top. So you got a potential three here. But I just keep it with Clay and get into my post fade. So right here, we got punch 25 split. I call this with Draymond. So uh, I swing the ball at Clay and then give it to Draymond in the post. And then Clay sets this screen for Curry. Even though the defender doesn't get hit by the screen, he just goes way too far under. And so I'm able to get a three. And this is a post-up play. So if nobody's open, just, you know, hold the ball with the post player and create shots from there. And lastly, we got ISO 12 high. And so right here, uh, I call this for Draymond, but Curry and Clay they get open on this play. So uh, give the ball to Draymond in the post. Then uh, Clay he'll get these two screens, come out to the wing. 
And so you have a potential three here. Also, if you in a real game and you make this pass and you don't get open, the play will still continue to run. So you can just give the ball back to Dre. And then right here, Curry, he gets these two screens. He goes out to the corner and he gets open on a three. So those were the plays now. Uh, once you get into a real game, go to your offensive settings and then go to your, your quick plays. And then you can just remove all of these and then put the plays from the series. So just throw a couple of these in here. Not going to do all of them, but um, you can assign them to people if you want. That's up to you. And then... When you have the ball on offense, you just uh, right on the D-pad series and then run the favorite play series. And so it'll take a possession for it to kick in. But yeah, at that point, you're basically running your own custom series. And on top of that, if you want to take it a step further, you can also use the Warriors freelance. And so you can use a freelance and a series together. So what will happen is um, every possession up, a play from the series will get called. But if you don't score or if you just like kill the play, like you can like call for a pick and roll or like a menu cut or something and then a play a stop. And so like once the play is over, it'll go into your freelance. So you can really play like the Warriors if you want to. Or you can just use a lot of this stuff with other teams. I can see like a lot of these uh, post play actions being good with a player like Jokic because of his passing. So you can have him in the post, have actions happen around him and then, you know. If you if you got an open player, he can make the pass. But if you don't, then you could just score on the post with him. So just use it however you see fit, depending on what roster you have. Also, don't forget to go into your uh, coach settings and go all the way to the bottom where you got a uh, freelance series repeat and freelance series order. So static, um, the plays will go in the order that you put them in your quick plays. And dynamic, it'll just pick a random play from the quick plays. And then freelance series repeat. You got repeat on success or do not repeat. So if you score on that possession, it'll come back the next possession and keep running the same play until you don't score. Or you can just do not repeat. Whether you score or not, it's going to go on to the next play. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. And uh, Like I said in the beginning, this type of things can be fun just because like you can make things that aren't in the game. And it's stuff like this where I wish that you can create your own custom playbook and then just use it in any mode. I definitely give this a try and like online in regular play now or even if I played my team I definitely like try stuff like this over there and like I said I got so many other ideas about different series I can do that I'll I'll be going over in the future but you know I guess this is just our, our best option right now so uh yeah that's pretty much it that being said I hope this helped you hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content